I'm waiting for a friend at the Botanic Garden of the University of Valencia, a true oasis in the blasting city centre. It offers the chance to see a great variety of plants, both native to the Valencian community and from all around the world. Hey Olga, I'm really excited to visit the garden. So what were you doing up there? I've just come from the research building. It houses the labs, the library, the herbarium, the seed bank, an exhibition hall, and the departments devoted to culture and communication, didactics, and administration. Great. So can we go see the garden? Let's go. Join us on a tour of the top five of the garden that must be seen. The first stop on our tour around the garden is focused on the monumental trees section. Of the garden's trees, 18 are considered monumental and unique in the Valencian community. The name Carcasa was given to this tree because from a distance, it resembles the explosion of a special type of firework with the same name. It is one of the palm trees with more arms in all of Europe. While you may find species of palm trees throughout the garden, this particular area is home to our greatest diversity of palm trees, some dating back to the beginnings of the garden. Visiting Valencia and wondering what species grow here naturally? Be sure to visit La Montañeta. Here you can find species ranging from water-loving to drought-resistant, spread all over the hill, trying to recreate their native habitats. From spiny to smooth, our patch of cacti and succulents is sure to have something interesting for everyone. As you make your way through the patch, travel from continent to continent, from Africa to the Americas. Be sure to stop for a break from the sun in the beautiful Iron Shade House. Inaugurated in the year 1900, this Iron Shade House is the architectural jewel of the garden. My name is Spencer Wright. And I'm Olga Mayibran. I'm studying a master's in translation and currently serving an internship at the Botanic Garden of the University of Valencia. I'm a researcher of the Botanic Garden and professor of the Department of Didactics of Experimental Science of the University of Valencia. We hope you've enjoyed our tour of the top five, but the garden has much more to offer. Take a look. It's a dynamic environment that offers many different aspects throughout the seasons and the years. Some plants die, but others, with a unique character, 
are included in order to become main actors. Each plant is identified by a small label on which you may find its common name, its scientific name, and its place of origin. We hope to see you soon. But we're gonna stay for a while longer, right? Yes, of course. All right. Okay. Bye, Bye now.